coming off of game three, all the conversation, practice, heading into this one, what's most satisfying uh, in the way that you guys got it done tonight? Um, defensively, that's going to be our key uh, every single game. Like, offensively, we're not – that's to be the last, last thing we should be worried about because we have so many weapons, so many guys that can get it going. Um, defensively, we have to be engaged to be locked in possession by possession. And I think in that th- uh, game three – we weren't, you know, consistently, uh, you know, locked in on a defensive effort, and it showed. So tonight was was a lot better, and uh, obviously offensively, we we you know we're wrecking when we come down and ball moves and and we play with pace. So uh, defensively, our effort, and then our rebounding was great too. Kai did an unbelievable job with um, eleven rebounds. You know, that's just that's elite right there. That's winning basketball. There's been a lot of talk, unfortunately, about unruly behavior from from fans this postseason. And then tonight, someone throws a water bottle at, at Kyrie. Just your reaction and, and what more can be done to protect protect. Players. I mean, it's really unacceptable. Like, these fans should come in and and boo or cheer or do whatever they got to do. But just, you know, throwing throwing things and the disrespectful language. And, and it's just it's, it's ridiculous at this point. Um, um, I don't know. There's some, there's some got to be a force, you know, with the NBA as far as fans. Like somebody has to be made an example. I don't think just ban, banning fans, you know, from the arena um, is good enough because continuous. You see, one, you see, you know, different arenas. Fans continue to do it. So, you know, something has to be put in place. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, James, what do you think it says about Kyrie's mental toughness that he was able to come into this environment and have such a great game tonight? Uh, mental toughness, <laughs> uh, one of the best I've ever seen, you know, for him, you know, all the emotions or whatever, whatever is going through his mind, you know, which I'm sure a, a million things go through his mind, you know, you know, um, he goes out there, blocks everything out and just, you know, be him, be, be himself. And from a guy that, you know, probably would say he didn't play his best game in game three, came in and just had a killer, killer instinct, killer mentality, um, and had a will to win game four, and uh, it showed. Like, he just – he was aggressive. And when Kai's aggressive like that, nobody can guard him. And that that gives our team energy as well. So, uh, big-time effort from him, big-time effort from our team. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, James. From three to four, uh, how could you tell that Kyrie, I don't know, was more aggressive or locked in or focused – I'm not talking about once the game started. Could you tell before the game started? And if so, how? Like, how does he show that? I mean, honestly, like, as much as we we, we not we try to forget about it, like, we're all human. <laughs> like, as much, you know, as great as Kai and Kevin and myself and our team is, like, we're human. So we, ha- we have bad days, whether it's on the court or off the court. Like, you know, that's a part of, you know, life. But we try not to compound bad days. And that's, you know, what didn't happen. <laughs> like, we had a bad day or it wasn't our best day, and then we try to come bounce back and be better and be great the next day. And that's all we can ask from each other. And, uh, you know, tonight was great. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. James, you had a a playoff career high, 18 assists tonight. I'm just wondering what you saw that opened up the passing lanes for you tonight. Uh, Just being aggressive and not to score, but just to be be a playmaker. Uh, Credit the guys, you know, they made shots and finished the basketball well, but our pace, our energy, our movement, you know, was very, very good. So um, I just saw spots on the floor where where I could be aggressive. And when, you know, I saw somebody open and get get them the ball, but we made shots, you know, and I just tried to communicate, especially with guys like Bruce, you know, where where to be on the court to get him going a little bit. So um, he put like that, you know, I don't know how many assists we had as a team, but, you know, if you put like that, 29 assists, like, I mean, the ball is moving. I mean, guys are getting open shots. Last question, Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, James, I got two quick ones for you. Just to clarify, did you have a, did you see the fan throw the water bottle at Kyrie, or you you didn't see it? No, I didn't see it. And then just it, Nick's performance was short but sweet. You know, four blocks in about eight minutes. Just what what did you see with him out there when, uh, especially in that second quarter? That's what he does. <laughs> He's active. He's uh, you know, he protects our rim. He rebounds the ball offensively. He sets screens and he, and, he, and he finishes around the basket. So he did exactly his job. Um, you know, only playing eight minutes, but he's always ready. And that goes for everybody on this roster. Like I try to get guys 
to know that, you know, each possession could change. Your name could be called. So make sure you're engaged into the game and make sure you're ready to go because at any moment, you know, coach can sub you in and, and you got to know what we're doing on both ends of the ball. So uh, great job for Nick, even though it's only eight minutes. I'm sure you wanted to play more, but uh, overall goal is to win. And, and tonight was, uh, you know, big for us. So a uh, huge game for us, game five. Uh, we got to be ready to go. Thanks, James. Appreciate it.